My name's David Grant, I'm Managing Director of Moorhouses Brewery. Moorhouses has been established for uh, over 145 years now um, as um, a drinks manufacturer. Initially brewing soft drinks and mineral waters and latterly uh, in about 1987 we started to produce intoxicating ale in the form of cask bitters. The company has had many owners over the years the Moorhouse family sold uh, in 1972 and our current owner bought the business in 1987 and has invested very heavily in the property to ensure that we are a leading Cascale brewery for the future. The brewing process of producing Cascale is, uh, is, is very, very traditional. In fact, it's quite ancient and all the processes we use here we have done since the day we started brewing. We bring raw materials in the form of uh, malted barley in from North Yorkshire. We bring our hops in from Hereford usually or sometimes from Kent. Our water comes from the Lake District. We use sugars and we use our own yeast and that's all we do to produce championship winning beers. We saturate the malted barley in, um, in water, or liquor as it's known in the brew house. And we allow all the starches and the sugars to be extracted from that malted barley. We then boil that liquid, which is called wort, and add hops and sugar at that stage to produce a hopped wort. Hot wort is then transferred from a copper, which is boiled at over 100 degrees Celsius, into one of 12 fermenting vessels where yeast is added and the magic actually happens where the yeast converts the sugars to alcohol. That process takes in total about seven days but we're dealing with natural products, yeast in particular. So sometimes, sometimes it'll be seven days, sometimes it might be nine days. It depends on how healthy and how quickly the yeast wants to convert the sugars to alcohol. At the end of that process, the liquid is then transferred into casks. We add our final natural ingredients, a product called finings, which helps to clear the, uh, the yeast out of the liquid to give you a clear liquid in a glass. And those casks are then delivered to uh, one of our 500 customers that we trade with every week. Uh, and eventually, uh, after about a week and a half to two weeks, that beer that we brewed here ends up in your glass. The future goals for Moorhouses Brewery, well we've just completed a four and a half million pound expansion programme um, and we've built what we have now uh, to last for the next 50 years and during the first two or three years of, uh, of our growth at this stage uh, cash is king and it's very difficult to um, to cover all the costs that we currently have before we grow our business enough to break even. So everybody that's, that works with me here is very focused on brewing and selling great quality beer so that we can brew enough beer and sell enough beer so that we do break even and start making a profit. We very much online with our budgets and everybody, our investors, the board of directors, are very happy with the way things are going. But we are very focused currently on selling products, not only Cascale, but we've also put product into bottle. And we've just got listings with Asda, Tesco, shortly with Sainsbury's. And that will give us about 20% of our volume as we move forward. So we've built the business for the next 50 years. It's going to be difficult for the next two or three, most definitely. But after that, we would hope that uh, business will become rosy and we won't sit back on our laurels in any way because we'll find other opportunities then and other challenges. But the, uh, the future is very good for us currently. 
Being a member of Made in Lancashire has really helped the brewery. Uh, it certainly heightened our awareness prior to us uh, doing the development that we've done. It also means we've got support whenever we need it from an organisation that knows what they're talking about and that is really needed at times. It also gives us an opportunity to meet with consumers, something that we don't do that often.